guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are back with a massive Manchester United unboxing video. Or should I say, unbagging video. Here today we have got one of the coolest things I might have ever, ever unboxed on this channel. If you guys are pumped, go down below and smash that like button. Let me know down below in the description, do you have any retro shirts of your own? And while you're down there, hit that sub button because we're on the road to four thousand subscribers we are pushing we are flying can we get there and of course keep an eye out because in this video will be a random mystery player and if you want to be in the hat for the giveaway you do not want to miss it so without any further ado let's get unboxing now there is two things in this and i'm so so gassed to see them both oh my god there's the kit right there's the kit hang on hang on hang on and there's the jacket oh we're going to start off with the kit. So then, lads, right here, we have got the shirt we wore in the 1968 champion, or European final, as it was called back then. The first ever time Manchester United Football Club tasted European success with those legendary Holy Trinity up front, the likes of Charlton, the likes of Best, and, of course, the likes of Dennis Law. This kit will go down in folklore. Um, amongst Manchester United you know, fans as being the first time we ever did anything in Europe. And I'll tell you what, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. <laughs> Don't worry, we will have a better and closer look at this in just a moment, but we do have a second item in here as well. So we're going to put you just on the bed there. And now we move on to this. Oh... <laughs> this is from the same year, obviously. This is the modernised version of whatever they would have worn back in the day. But it is a training jacket from the 1968. Oh, this is phenomenal. Oh my god. <laughs> right, we need to closer look at all this right now. And ladies and gentlemen, what more do you want me to say? These two kits are steeped in genuine history and heritage for this great football club that we all love and support. Kickstarting with the actual top itself. It's that dark navy blue, the long sleeve going down the side, of course. Inside the collar, you have got Manchester United, you've got European cup winners as well official licensed product of course and you've got bro look at this badge wembley 1968 concilio labore bro that is wow <laughs> now in terms of what is on this kit it is literally plain it is vintage it is to the point it is a blue kit with that badge on the front and that is literally it but i tell you what this type of kit here screams heritage. Ten years on from that horrible Munich disaster, Matt Busby, of course, we've mentioned the Trinity, Nobby Styles, Stepney, Brian Kidd, so many more legendary football players wore this kit right here to make our history and pave the way. They walked so that this club could run in the future. This badge will forever go down. This kit will forever go down. In our club's history. Now we go straight into the training kit jacket thing because yes this is phenomenal. You've got the exact same badge that was on the top of course in the Concilio Labore. You've obviously got just the plain black. You've got these dark navy blue stripes going all the way along it going along the front of course and you've got another one just going down the sleeve all the way up onto the shoulder but it does stop of course at the collar and it's the exact same on the other side you do have that zip and that high rise almost turtleneck collar going inside as well obviously official manchester united licensed product in there as well bro this is just gorgeous the po pockets are a bit interesting obviously they're done in by a button rather than just anything else which i kind of like Adds a little bit of something different to it, a bit more of like an old-fashioned feel to the kit, I guess, if I can open this. Come on, come on! There we go. <laughs> if we can open that, it's not bad at all. Obviously, the inside is just a black, navy, blue kind of type design. It's just simple. It's just nice. You just can't go wrong. But there's more. Chuck it on the back. You have got Manchester United with the devil. And apart from that, standard black back. These are beautiful but if you think i'm not gonna try these on you've got another thing coming 
And look at this, wearing this shirt, like the icons before me, this makes me feel so powerful, man. I love this design. I thought it was going to be a little bit of a dodgy fit, being obviously a new retro shirt, a bit of a reimagined, if you like. But the sleeves, the arms are tight. Like, that's not a lot of wiggle room there. But you can also go over a little bit if you're getting cold weather. The actual kit itself is definitely baggy. Like, I'm not being funny. Look at that. But then the actual holes, if you want, they're not stretchy, stretchy. They cling to your skin a little bit, which is very, very nice. Keeps the warmth in. Bro, this is so nice. It's like a jumper. This is a jumper rather than a football kit. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's simple, it's plain, it's smart. And this is just Manchester United heritage, bro. On the Manchester United website, you can get this for like 40 to 50 quid right now. And I promise you, as a Christmas present for someone, maybe of the older generation, maybe you want to get it for yourself because you're a collector. This is brilliant. It is worth every single penny. It's not like one of these new ones that are like a hundred quid to style, to customise, to whatever. It's plain and simple. This is Man United history and this is brilliant. But it doesn't stop there. I've got a really good feeling about this one. I've got a really good feeling about this one. Oh. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's the exact same, man. It's not as stretchy. It doesn't have that, like, loads of flexibility in anything whatsoever. It's just tight to the skin. It does the job. It keeps you warm. And this, my friend, just looks absolutely brilliant. You've got the Manchester on the back of the neck, as per usual. You've obviously got the exact same badge there, mate. Oh, I don't know what to say, man. This is brilliant. This is so, so brilliant. This has made me so, so happy, boys. Literally, I was expecting this to be a bit more of like a, right, it's a retro kit. It's not going to be anything crazy. The fitting is going to be off because of how they do the retro remakes. It is perfect. I got these both in a medium. I would recommend going for the size that you would usually get um, because especially the football kit underneath, it doesn't have that flexibility. It's very, very, very baggy. But the arms itself and the collar, they are quite tight fitting, do you know what I mean? So it keeps it in place if you like. So I definitely recommend going for the size you would normally get. Um, for example, I got a medium, I'd normally get a medium. And the kit itself does feel more like a jumper rather than actual football shirt. So bear that in mind um, once you are buying it. In terms of the tracksuit, boys, look at that. It's just brilliant. Like you've got the blue going through it, you've got the badge, you've got the badge on the back as well. Mate, it feels good, it feels warm. I can't show you right now, but it is chucking it down out there. And this feels like it would fly off anything, bro. Massive, massive success and very much worth it. That's it for me, boys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's unboxing. Let me know your thoughts on the kit down below. And I guess without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Massive thank you. Up the Reds. Thank you for everything and peace.